Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my dear students? Hope all you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Amiruddin, assistant teacher of mathematics, morning shift, national idea of English version school. Dear students, today I am going to take a math class for the students of class 9. So today we are going to start the class of annual term okay dear the students our today's topic exercise 5.1 mcq 1 to 10 this is lecture number one and hw number one also okay dear the students now let us start our today's class here one number question is if f of x equal to x square minus 4x plus 4, which one of the following is the value of f of 2? Here, given that f of x equal to x square minus 4x plus 4, we have to find out the value of f of 2. f of 2. Instead of x, we have to right now 2 that means 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 4 this is equal to 4 2 square means 4 and 4 2 is 8 plus 4 now 4 plus 4 equal to 8 8 minus 8 this is equal to 0 that means value of f of 2 equal to 0 in option 4 0 is given so our correct answer will be option 4 0 Okay, dear the students, now we will solve two numbers. Here question is, which one of the following is the value of half into a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square? We have to find out the value of half into a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. This is equal to half into formula a plus b whole square equal to we know that a square plus 2ab plus b square minus a minus b whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square half into a square plus 2ab plus b square since we are in front of first bracket minus sign exists so we have to change the sign of all terms it will be minus a square plus 2ab and minus b square now plus a square and minus square we can cut plus b square and minus b square also we can cut now 2ab plus 2ab this is equal to 4ab that means half into 4ab now we can cut this 4 and 2 4 2 2 star 4 that means finally 2ab will be exist and answer 2ab that means in option 3 2ab exists so correct option of two number will be option 3 2ab this is the correct option. Now we will solve three number. Here question is if x plus 2 by x equal to 3, what is the value of x cube plus 8 by x cube? Given that x plus 2 by x, x plus 2 by x equal to 3 it is given we have to find out the value of x cube plus 8 by x cube here we can write x whole cube plus 2 by x whole cube now if we can consider x as a and 2 by x as b then we can apply formula a cube plus b cube Formula a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. Okay, dear students, now we can cut this x and this x. Now, x plus 2 by x. Here, value of x plus 2 by x is 3. So, instead of x plus 2 by x, we can write 3. 3 cube minus 3 into here x plus 2 by x this is equal to 3 so 3 multiplication 3 now 3 cube means 3 multiplication 3 multiplication 3 3 3 is 9 and 9 3 is 27 
minus 3 3 is a 9. If we subtract 9 from 27, then it will be 18. Correct option here in two number option 18 given. So correct answer will be correct option will be two number 18. Fourth number question, which one of the following is the factorized form of p to the power 4 plus p square plus 1. We have to resolve into factors and the expression is p to the power 4 plus p square plus 1. Okay. Here instead of p to the power 4, we can write p square whole square plus we will write here 2 into p square into 1 plus 1. Here, instead of 1, we have written 1. Instead of p to the power 4, we have written p square whole square and p square whole square and p to the power 4 is same. But here, instead of p square, we have written 2 into p square into 1. If we multiply, it will be 2 p square. Here, p square exists, but we have written here 2 p square. So, we have subtract. We have to subtract 1 p square from the expression. Now 2 p square minus p square equal to p square. Okay. Dear the students, now we can apply formula a square plus 2 a b plus b square. We can write here 1 square. Instead of 1, we can write 1 square. So if we consider p square as a and 1 as b, then we can apply formula a square plus 2 a b plus b square. So a square plus 2 a b plus b square equal to, we know that a plus b whole square. That means p square plus 1 whole square minus p square. Okay, now again we will apply formula a square minus b square. Here we will consider p square plus 1 as a and p as b, then a square minus b square. We know that a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. a plus b into a minus b. We can write it as p square plus b plus 1 into p square minus p plus 1 okay in option option 4 p square plus p plus 1 into p square minus p plus 1 exists so our correct answer will be option 4 p square plus 1 p square plus p plus 1 into p square minus p plus 1 Dear students, now we will solve 5 number. Question is, if x equal to 2 minus root 3, then what is the value of x square? Value of x is x equal to 2 minus root 3. We have to find out value of x square. So, 2 minus root 3 whole square. We will apply formula a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now 2 a square means 4, here 2 to square 4, 4 root 3 plus root 3 whole square, we can cut a square and root, so only 3 will be exist. Now 4 plus 3 equal to 7, 7 minus 4 root 3, answer 7 minus 4 root 3. In option 2, 7 minus 4 root 3 exists, so correct option will be option 2, 7 minus 4 root 3. Now, six number, if f of x equal to x square minus 5x plus 6 and f of x equal to 0, what is the value of x? Here, given that f of x equal to x square minus 5x plus 6, again given that f of x equal to 0, so instead of f of x, we can write 0 also. or 0 equal to x square minus 5x plus 6 or we will write this expression in right side x square minus 5x plus 6 and 0 in sorry we will write this expression in left side and we will write 0 in right side. Now applying middle term factor here 6 to 3 to serve 
6. So, we can write here minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 equal to 0 or we can take common x from first two terms then here x minus 3 will be exist and if we take 2 as common from last two terms then if we divide minus 2x by 2 then x will come if we divide 6 by minus 2 then minus 3 will come 0 or x minus 3 into x minus 2 ok that means value of x will be 3 and another value of x will be 2 so value of x is 3 and 2 in option 1 2 and 3 exist so correct option of six number will be option 1 2 3 Dear the students, now we will solve 7 number. What is the what is to be added to 9x square plus 16y square so that their sum will be a perfect square? Here given expression is 9x square plus 16y square. We have to convert it into a perfect square and for that which term we have to add with it. Here instead of 9x square we can write 3x whole square and instead of 16y square we can write 4y square. If we consider 3x as a and 4y as b then we can get a square plus b square. If we take another term 2ab that means a square plus b square plus 2ab then we can write it a plus b square it will be a perfect square so that we need a term 2 into 3x into 4y if we add this term with this expression then we can write it 3x plus 4y whole square this is a perfect square so that if we want to convert it into a perfect square that means this type we have to add this term that means 2 into 3x into 4y and 2 into 3x into 4y means 2 3 are 6 and 6 4 are 24 24 xy that means we have to add 24 xy with this term then it will be a perfect square so 24 xy is a answer and here in three option option 3 24 xy exists so correct option will be option 3 24 x y dear students now one stem exists if x to the power 4 minus x square plus 1 equal to 0 answer the following questions 8 to 10 using this stem we have to solve question number 8 9 and 10 here stem is x to the power 4 minus x square plus 1 and 8 number question we have to find out the value of x square plus 1 by x square. Eight number given that x to the power 4 minus x square plus 1. Okay. This is equal to 0 given. We have to find out the value of x square plus 1 by x square this is equal to what we have to find out now we can write here x to the power 4 plus 1 equal to minus if we send this minus x square in right side then it will be plus x square now dividing both sides by x square that means we have to divide each term by x square then x to the power 4 divided by x square plus 1 by x square equal to x square by x square. We have divided all terms by x of both sides. Or if we divide x to the power 4 by x square, then it will be x square plus 1 by x square. This is equal to x square plus x square by x square. This is equal to 1. That means value of x square plus 1 by x square is 1. So answer will be 1 and option 3 1 given so correct option of 8 number question will be option 3 1 now 9 number question what is the value of x plus 1 by x whole square we have to find out the value of x plus 1 by x whole square 
from eight number question we have got x square plus one by x square equal to one using this sentence we can find the value of x plus one by x whole square or here if we consider x as a and one by x as b then we can apply formula a square plus b square and formula a square plus b square equal to a plus b whole square minus 2ab another formula a square plus b square equal to a minus b whole square plus 2ab here we have to find out the value of x plus 1 by x whole square so we will apply formula a plus b whole square minus 2ab equal to 1 we can cut this x and this x or x plus 1 by x whole square equal to 1. We will send this minus 2 in right side then it will be plus 2. That means value of x plus 1 by x whole square equal to root 3. x plus 1 by x whole square this is equal to 3. So what is the value of x plus 1 by x square? It will be 3. Option 2. In option 2, 3 given. So, correct option of 9 number will be option 2, 3. Now, 10 number question. What is the value of x cube plus 1 by x cube? We have to find out the value of x cube plus 1 by x cube. From 9 number we have got x plus 1 by x whole square equal to 3. Using this equation or this mathematical sentence, if we take square root in both sides, then square and root will be cut, then x plus 1 by x will be exist and this is equal to root 3. That means value of x plus 1 by x equal to root 3. Now we can easily find out the value of x cube plus 1 by x cube. Therefore, x cube plus 1 by x cube equal to. We know that if we consider x as a 1 by x as b, then we can apply formula a cube plus b cube. a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. Now we can cut this x and this x. Now x plus 1 by x equal to root 3. So we can write root 3 whole cube. Root 3 whole cube minus 3 into x plus 1 by x. Value of x plus 1 by x equal to root 3. Now instead of root 3 whole cube we can write root 3 whole square into root 3 minus 3 root 3. Now, a square and root we can cut, then it will be 3 root 3 minus 3 root 3. 3 root 3 minus 3 root 3 equal to 0. That means answer will be 0. Here in option 4, 0 given. So, correct option of 10 number question will be option 4, 0. Okay, dear the students, we have finished our today's class. Now, I, I am giving you SW. Uh, this is SW number 1 and topic of SW number 1 is exercise 3.5 MCQ 1 to 10. That means our today's CW is your SW also and submission date of this SW is 10, 7, 10, 000, uh, sorry, 2021. That means in next Saturday or next Saturday you have to submit your SW. Okay, dear the students, do your SW properly and at the time of doing SW, if you want, you can write the question and then write the answer. If you want, you can write only answer also. That means you will write the question number and the, write only answer. It also will be okay. Okay, dear the students, do your SW properly and submit on next Saturday. Stay home, stay safe, obey your parents or not. Thank you for watching the class. Allah Hafiz.